What's up guys, Greg with Pizzles Tech Time, back again with another video. I gotta be completely honest with you guys, I just got out of work today, threw on this shirt, and I wanted to record an unboxing for this, just in case I wanted to use it for the channel. I, I went to Micro Center in Cambridge. The guy who helped me out was pretty amazing. I wish I remember his name, but he was pretty awesome. This was on sale, it was $400 off, the asking price of uh, $1,400. Yeah, that's a lot of money. I don't even like saying it out loud. This is, of course, the ROG Strix 4K 144 hertz monitor. Technically, it's 120 hertz, and you can overclock it to 144 hertz. Okay guys, so yes, as I was saying, this is basically a 120 hertz monitor and it's gonna be overclocked to 144 hertz. The reason I wanted it was for HDR and color accuracy. I have here an LG monitor back here and it works perfectly well, but it's not HDR and it's only about 350 nits brightness. So what I wanted to do was be able to test out some HDR games, number one. Number two, uh, the, the camera, the GH5 also shoots HDR. So if I really want to get into editing it, I think a reference monitor is pretty cool. And not only is this a gaming monitor, but it's pretty close to reference as uh, the color accuracy is pretty amazing. I thought it would be cool if we could do an unboxing. I really didn't realize how big the box is. So you're getting a different view of my office than you normally get. So forgive me if it doesn't look great or anything. I tried to set this up as quick as I could. So basically this is the top of the line gaming monitor that you can get. And I've also got three year accidental coverage on it. In case anything happens, dead pixels. I have heard some issues with these. This is the PG27U. I only have a 1080 Ti, so I'm probably not gonna hit anywhere near 120 hertz and 4K HDR, but I can always lower the resolution a little bit, 1440p, and this is the full gamut of HDR. It's a thousand nits. So what you're getting with this monitor is 4K, 120 hertz, overclockable to 144 hertz, 384 contrast zones, IPS panel, quantum dot technology, DCI-P3 support. We're gonna have great color accuracy with this monitor, compatible with Aura Sync, game visual, and plus game. I don't know what the last two mean, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. So this is not how I normally record my videos, so I'm gonna have to actually lower the camera a little bit, and I'm gonna do the best I can to show you what comes inside this box, but it's probably not gonna be great, so please do forgive me. So I'm excited to take a look at this, guys. Let's open up the box and see what comes inside. Okay, so it's got a little flap here. We're gonna take it off. And uh, we've got some uh, things here that are gonna show you how to put the base together. Okay, so this looks like it's gonna pull. Oh, Jesus. I guess not. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to dump this because this little black handle is supposed to help you pull it out, I guess, but it did. It failed me very badly, so hopefully that's not important. And let's just tip it over like we have to do sometimes. And let's open it up. Okay, so we've got some stuff in here. Power supply. Uh, we've got cables. Oh boy, this is gonna be horrible. We've got cables, screws, all sorts of stuff falling out. This is the worst unboxing ever. So uh, power source is huge. I mean, the, the stand is gonna be pretty huge too. We've got power cable. We've got the bottom of the stand here. This is, sorry, this is the worst unboxing ever. I'm gonna put that to the side and let's see what we got here. Oh boy. Okay, so the stand is pretty much together. It's very heavy. Jesus H Christ. Oh my God, okay. So what I'm going to do is move this and I'm going to put this back on the styrofoam here and uh, try to get at it here. Now you can see the monitor has that Asus look to it. It's got that look that they're known for. We've got some clicky buttons on the back, very clicky. And the IO is on the bottom. Hmm. I don't know why the IO would be on the bottom. Um, seems like a pretty silly move but at least it's more accessible than the actual bottom okay so then we've got this right here which is the base we've got a little pin to tighten it and it looks fairly easy to set up here so this turns okay so it looks like this actually will only go in one way okay so that's definitely how you put it on <laughs> 
And then this is going to screw in the bottom like so. Okay, so that did tighten. Now that's on there. So now we're gonna be able to place this on the desk. Here is the back of the monitor. And we've also got a back plate cover inside the box here. This will actually cover up the connections, I assume. So after you set this up, you can put this right here. Yep, that's gonna go right there. So that'll be for after you set up the connection. So that's really cool. Now, as you can see, the monitor is very beautiful right here. Um, it's got a short in the back, so it'll kind of fit on any desk, and I really like that design. Uh, this is only detachable if you're going to use uh, the mounting, uh, the vase mount. And uh, we've got the projector mover, okay? The screen tilts this way. It tilts up and down. And it also goes down and up, okay? And we've got, uh, we've got a little hole for the cables, so that's awesome. The projector and the Asus logo here, the bottom and the top, so you're getting a lot of RGB. We've got a bunch of buttons here. Don't really know what those do. And we've got a clicky joystick. Oh man, this is the heaviest monitor I have ever seen in my life. Okay, so looking here at the front of the monitor, we've got uh, we've got some sort of sensor right there on the top, so that's a little strange. We are already getting uh, dust on the monitor, which is going to piss me off. As you can see, it's not the thinnest panel in the world, but that's okay because of what it actually does, and you've got everything right here. So, we've, yeah, we've got the buttons laved over here. we got power, source, game mode, X, and uh, menu button right here. That's pretty awesome. And... Uh, it's also going to come as well with this power source right here, which is pretty huge. This is 100 to 240 volt and a very, very, very big power source right here. So then we're going to get the other half of the power cord in the box. So this will plug into this. And uh, we've also got some cabling. So we've got a display port and it is gold plated. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. And then we've got an HDMI cable as well, gold-plated. So that's very nice. They include both of it. Not sure what the USB is for. Um, and then we've got some screws. Got some screws if you want a vase amount. And we've got this calibration along with this little sack. What's in this sack here? Uh, we've got some, oh, different projectors. This will allow you to project different things on the ceiling or the floor there. And uh, we've got the color calibration testing report. This comes pre-calibrated, so that's awesome. This is a pre-calibrated monitor, which is amazing. And it says, welcome to the e elite Republic of Gamers community. Uh, there is no instruction manual, so it looks like it just comes with uh, the CD-ROM. And uh, basically, all I'm going to do is set this up, plug it in, and we're going to play around with it. Let's go. 